Now we're at the fun part, creating the website. We'll start with template selection. Our tool has over 100 templates with different layouts and structures. We can also create and save our own templates. We'll select the handmade template to explore the time-saving CMS features. In our case, we've already adapted the template slightly. The first thing to note is that the CMS is a drag and drop editor, so we can move elements easily like this. There are also keyboard shortcuts to speed up the design process. For example, you can use Control D or Command D on a Mac to duplicate an item and Control arrow key to move it. The templates can be easily customized to your needs, either by changing existing items like the background of the header or by adding new items to the site. Click on a category on the left sidebar, and then you can add elements like buttons, images, and text. For example, let's add a button below the product overview to link to all products. As you can see on the left, we have a settings panel that allows us to adjust the button element without the need of code. Next to elements, we also have presets that we can find under the other categories. Presets are pre-built website sections like accordions, pricing tables, or sliders that make the website creation process even easier. Let's add a gallery to our website. We can now remove all placeholder images and add our own. Most of the presets come with different variants. In this case, we should adjust the gallery style to the website style. We are going to change it to the default gallery. Like elements, presets have settings that we can easily customize to our needs. Here we want to use four columns and make the gap between the images a bit smaller. We can use the integrated image editing tool to make the images look even better. Here we want to use the crop mode to use the perfect section. We can also, for example, add a blur or black and white filter, but this should work for now. We already changed the look of the website, but we only saw a few elements, presets, and easy to use settings to customize it. Our tool also offers responsive design features that let us change styles and layouts across devices. See how the gallery looks when we switch to tablet? It probably looks better when we switch the number of columns for tablet to four. When we switch to mobile, the integrated responsive features already show us two columns, so it will look good on mobile, but we can also switch to one column for mobile if we want to show bigger images. Next, let's take a look at the contact section by clicking the phone number text box. When an orange border shows up around the contact info, a menu will show up on the right. In this panel, we can manage all site contact details. If we change any information here, it will change everywhere on the website all at once. So if we change the phone number, the new number will show up on all pages of the site. Another time-saving feature. If we want, we can also access HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to enjoy full design flexibility by clicking the code button in the bottom right corner. Those are just some of the features our tool has to offer. There are so many more, like the ability to add dynamic content like blogs by using the integrated collections feature, or you can add a shop. If we click on more in the top right, we will find other features like website settings where we can add a fav icon and preview images, SEO for meta description, languages for multi-language websites, and the wishes that our customer added to the customer portal. We will end this session with a quick look to the left where the hamburger menu reveals the option to add redirects or to restore and add backups. 
We know these features within our tool will help you save time building websites and make your design process more efficient, effortless, and enjoyable. Now that the first website draft is ready, let's take a look at the next step for our website creation process, the website audit. Get your hands on SiteJet today.